What is going on guys? Greggles TV, Samsung Goodlock 2019 is officially out and what it does is it lets you customize your phone with basically no comparison in sight. It's a really amazing app that if you have a Samsung Galaxy device, you definitely want this. So the way you're gonna have to download and install it, I already have it downloaded and installed, but I'll just show you pretty quickly here. You just go swipe up to go to all of your apps and then go into the Galaxy Store. Open up the Galaxy Store and what you're gonna do at the top here is hit the search button and search for good luck and it should pop right up. It should be the first one. Just tap on it and, and mine says open because it's already uh, downloaded and installed. So just download it. Once you have it downloaded, open it up. And then you're gonna have all these little categories right here. And if you wanna download them, which you're gonna to want to, just click on it and then hit download and then go back into the Good Luck app and do the same thing for each additional category here. And then you also have family at the bottom here and you can install these as well. So let's go in here. We'll go into most of these because I think most of them are important, uh, but I think there's some that are whatever, lame, at least for me anyway. So the first one is Lockstar, create new lock screen style. So I'll click that open and in here you can turn it on and you can custom create your own lock screen. So if you hit the plus sign, you can go in here and you can choose the background that you want or you can click right here and choose one of your photos or a recent selection. So click that and again, you can choose one of your photos or whatever you want. I'm just, just to make it easy, I'm going to uh, turn it on to go just to one of these you know random colored ones here. So maybe I'll choose this greenish color. And when I'm in here, I can go in here and I can hit edit and I can drag the clock around. Maybe I want the clock to be right there and I want this to be you know, right there. And maybe I wanna add some more stuff. So I'm gonna hit the plus sign and it's gonna allow me to put um, app shortcuts. So maybe I want the Amazon store and Chrome. You can pick up to six. Uh, maybe I want daily mail. Um, probably don't want, well, yeah, it's fine. And we'll pick one more. Maybe I want Spotify. So I'm gonna hit apply. And those will be on my lock screen. And I can, I think, see if I can move these. If you can't move those, it looks like. So I'm gonna hit save on here. And then you wanna click on it. And so it says apply new style. And then we're just gonna lock the screen. And it's set up exactly the way I wanted it. And if I wanna open one of these apps, I want Amazon open, just swipe up and it'll automatically open up Amazon for you. So you probably don't wanna put like important apps in here, like your email, I probably wouldn't even put my browser or your photos or your text messages, probably just stuff that's just like, you know, stuff that you might wanna access real easily, like Daily Mail, there's nothing in that. It's just random, you know, stupid gossip news. And so that's the first thing that you get with GoodLock. Again, GoodLock is like super highly customizable stuff. Uh, we'll get into it even more here. Going back to the main screen of GoodLock, we're gonna go into Quick Start. It's gonna allow you to customize your quick panel. This is pretty cool. So right now my panel looks blue. You can also, these are like, you know, pre-made ones. Uh, so if you want it to, you know, be purple, I'll click purple, I'll hit apply. and it, instantaneous so it's kind of cool if you want to edit any of these just press and hold and choose edit and you can change the on color maybe you want to change it to I don't know green or minty uh, and you can choose the off color meaning like the off color of the icon maybe you want to make that I don't know, that color and so on and so forth you can customize this to your heart's content it, there's so much customization it's freaking amazing it's 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 mind bending. And then just hit apply and then you're all good to go. Um, so that is quick start panel. And then you also have this other stuff in here. So you can see at the top right here, I, I don't have any icons for my um, like LTE or Wi-Fi or any of that stuff because I turned it all off. So if you click on here, anything that you turn on will have a notification uh, a signal or a symbol up there. So like maybe the mobile data signal, maybe I want to see that. So I can turn that on, but I turned it off. So it's, I, you don't generally need this stuff on. But if you want it on, you can turn it off and make it nice and clean up there. I love it. It's so cool that you can go in there and do that. Also, clock position. I have it in the top right. I think uh, by default, it's over to the left. If you want it in the middle, you can do it in the middle. 
Otherwise, I just keep it to the right, like I said. Uh, notification pop-up button. So this is gonna show notification pop-up window. So basically when you swipe over a notification, I don't know if I have any right now, I don't think I do. Well, you can go in quickly to the setting for it or whatever. So I generally keep this off because I don't need to have it on there. So if you want that on, it's just an easier, quicker way to go into deep into the settings of maybe you want to like customize the notification a little bit more. You can do that with that. We then have a task changer and this one is neat as well. So I have it turned on and I have layout type carousel. So when I go into my recent apps, it's going to look like a carousel. Ba, 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 ba. If I go in here, you can obviously change this. So maybe I want it to be a grid. You can see it's gonna look like this. It's freaking, it's so crazy. This, this software is amazing and it's so easy and it's instantaneous. You don't have to restart the phone or anything. Uh, maybe you want a list or a stack. I don't like this one. It's too hard to see the, uh, the app, unfortunately. So I keep it at carousel. You can also change the effect. I have it at scale, or maybe you want it to be cube in. So there's all kinds of different things that you can do with this. You can also turn on mini mode and it makes these ultra small. You can blur the background. See, it's blurred, otherwise you can see what's behind the background. And you can also center the currently running app. Next up is routines, which for some reason, I don't know if it's for everybody, but mine seems to be broken, so I can't get into that. Clock face allows you to change the always on display or the lock screen, so you can go in here. Um, it's very similar to what was already there, um, but allows you to you know, basically just change the, the way the clock looks and the color and all that stuff if you want it to you know, look a certain way, you just hit done. And same thing with the lock screen as well. The next one I'm really interested in is Navstar. So this is going to allow you to change the way your buttons look at the bottom. You can choose you know, these predefined ones that they already have um, and it changes instantaneous. So I'll show you real quick. So maybe they want this one and you can see they've changed change so whatever you want they'll instantaneously change you can also do a new configuration and you can manually change these buttons the way you want and there's little things down here so if you want to change the color so that it's maybe like a purplish color and then hit button layout and you can choose the default way right aligned left aligned or you can even add buttons in here if you want to do certain things such as you know any of this stuff so maybe you want a screen off button so you can add that so you can just tap the it'll be down here, I'll show you real, well, before we do that, you can also uh, go in here and change the way the icons look. So maybe you want your back button or your power button to be looking a different way, you choose it. And you can do that with any of these buttons here. So it's super customizable, but let me just hit save real quick and then tap it down here. And now I have my new screen off button. So when I tap that screen off button, it turns my screen off. Diving into the family routine down here, you have a bunch of stuff to go through. Let's start off with sound, sound assistant. Um, this one, you can control the media volume. I love this. I turn this on and it always will control my media volume from wherever I am, because that's generally the volume that I always want to control, because if I want to do the volume of the ringer, I just swipe down from the top here and turn it on or off or put it on vibrate. So this is a, a lifesaver here. Otherwise, there's a bunch of other stuff you can go in here and control audio or go into advanced settings and you know set things for selfie stick or do mono audio, uh, but generally the one I use most in here is the control media volume. The other things in here like nice catch will allow you to get, if you're getting weird mysterious vibrations on your phone, you can click in here and it will kind of, it turns it on, you can see what's causing certain things to maybe if you want to like turn it off or on the vibration, you can do that. Um, same thing with, you know, anything on here. Uh, so it's just, it's just a way, it's called nice catch. It's just a way for you to figure out what, what's making sounds or what's causing vibrations, which apps. One hand operation, I don't use this one either. It just allows you to use your phone more easily uh, with one hand. Again, I, I don't do it, but it just makes things smaller and easier to reach basically. These ones are pretty cool, such as edge lighting. So edge lighting, you can see 
right there. It allows you to customize all kinds of stuff. So you can click on effect and you can see what the notification will look like or you know whatever one you're gonna choose. So tons of customization with that. And then after you choose the effect, maybe you wanna change the color. Maybe you want it to be whatever color you want, you can choose it. Maybe you want it to be green, so you hit done. Um, and then maybe you wanna change the transparency. You can do that. You can also change the width if you want it to be really wide or maybe skinnier, you can do that. Or you can also change here, which is the duration. So if you want it to be longer, like when it blink, blinks, it'll last longer or shorter. A lot of customization. Then when you're hit done, you just hit done there. Edge touch is gonna be, and I, I don't use this one either. Basically, we'll block some of the edge zones uh, or, so that if you want to be you know, more sensitive or less sensitive, you can go in here and do that. And then just to go back to the main one here, the one I didn't really touch upon was multi-star, which says enjoy enhanced multi-window experience. So when you click on here, you can see, I, I don't use this either, but you can see uses additional options, tap the bar between the app windows to access additional options. Uh, you can change the split screen color. Uh, you can use multi window without pausing. So there's a bunch of stuff you can go in here and, and enable and do. Uh, I just don't, it, for me, it, it doesn't, you know, do much of a, uh, of a thing. This is the only thing that makes you restart is uh, this, the multi window to all apps. Um, and that's it. This is it. The app is really easy to use and to set up. So use it to your heart's content and customize your phone, guys. It's an amazing app. It's free. And if you have a Galaxy device um, that's fairly recent anyway, you can download this app and use it. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and then we will see you down the road. Peace.